new type of earthquake discovered by scientists in California. Researchers in Southern California have discovered a new type of earthquake that can occur a lot deeper than expected, more than 15 miles deep in Earth's upper mantle. This new type of earthquake cannot be detected by traditional seismic sensors and has the potential to make quakes much more destructive than previously predicted. Until now, our understanding of earthquakes was that they occur in the top half of the planet's crust as continental plates build up tension by pushing and rubbing up against each other. It was thought that quakes in Southern California did not occur any deeper than around 19 to 24 kilometers, that's 12 to 15 miles deep, because below that is the Earth's mantle, which is so hot that rocks become honey-like liquid, which is assumed to be incapable of building up seismic strain. But using the most powerful seismic sensors available, a team from Caltech in Pasadena detected small earthquakes occurring between along the Newport Inglewood Fault line deeper than 15 miles, all the way into Earth's upper mantle, representing a whole new type of earthquake. The Newport Inglewood Fault line is where the deadly 1933 magnitude 6.3 earthquake occurred along the Long Beach area. Although the deep earthquake detected along the fault so far have been minor, with a maximum magnitude of about two magnitude, the team thinks that fact that earthquakes can extend this deep could make further quakes even more devastating. If earthquakes want to get big, one way of achieving this is by penetrating deep. One of the researchers at researchers John Paul Ampuerto told Rong Gong Lin II over uh, at uh, the LA Times. The big question is, if the next large earthquake happens, if it manages to penetrate deeper than we think, it may be bigger than we expect. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And here we have the diagram of the Earth's layers. On top we have the crust, the lithosphere, crust uppermost solid mantle, the asthenosphere, lithosphere, asthenosphere make up the mantle. Then we have the uh, core, not to scale of course, inner and outer. Now, the Newport Inglewood fault line is the same type of fault as the San Andreas, which suggests the longest fault line in California could also experience these type of deep earthquakes. The researchers first started looking into the potential of deeper earthquakes after the 2012 quake that struck the Indian Ocean off the coast of Sumatra and registered as a magnitude 8.6. It was the largest quake of its kind that has ever happened, said and Puerto, and it happened on a fault known as a strike slip, which is the same kind of fault as the Newport Inglewood and San Andreas, he said. But the problem with the 2012 Sumatra quake was that it was not possible to explain how it got so big with existing science. It would have had to go deeper than just Earth's crust all the way down to the mantle, he said. And the team has now shown that the same thing is possible on the Newport Inglewood uh, Southern California fault line. If a shallow earthquake along this fault line extended deeper into the mantle, the team says it's possible that it could reach the strength of magnitude 7.4. That's not great considering the fact that Southern California is already bracing for a big earthquake and the San Andreas fault is locked and loaded, ready to go, quote unquote, and a brand new fault line running parallel to San Andreas discovered recently. But right now, the researchers know very little about this new type of deep earthquake, and although they worry it could make earthquakes more severe, they admit that these deep earthquakes could also just be small, localized chatter, quote-unquote, that don't link up with each other, so they would not affect earthquakes closer to the surface. The um, Puerto told LA Times that this could be good news, in a way, because if we if they never break together, that means they can break in tiny earthquakes, but they cannot break in large ones. 
he said, so, so several questions are still open. I wouldn't say that this is cause for alarm at this point. These are very interesting questions that we need to pursue, he said. And now that we know this new type of earthquake does exist, the race is on to understand more about them and where they occur. In this study, they were only found along the nine square mile area of Newport Inglewood Fault that's underneath Long Beach and where we are not seen uh, further to the, this not seen further to the northwest. It might have just been a case of timing because the team was monitoring Long Beach for longer than other parts of the fault line, but it could also suggest there's something unique about Long Beach that's producing these deeper quakes. That's also evidence that there are some liquids flowing from the mantle up to the surface in the area, Lynn reports. For now, though, we don't have much to worry about, they said, although the discovery of a magnitude 3 or 4 quake this deep in the mantle would be cause for additional concern, U.S. Geological Survey says. Geophysicist Brad Agart, who was not involved in the study, and this is what he told LA Times. He said it's worth further investigation on multiple fronts to look at what the physics of the Newport Inglewood are really are. Only time will tell if these new types of earthquakes can occur all over the planet and the type of threat they really possess. But one thing is certain, it's going to change and hopefully improve our understanding of how earthquakes and earth mantle interact. It's a very cool study, said USGS seismologist Susan Howe, who was not involved in the study. Whether or not deep fault extensions store significant strain, understanding their behavior gives us a better understanding of fault and plate boundary systems. This was by Fiona McDonald on Science Alert on Embedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.